All right, guys, we got the famous Mike Ledoux. Here we go. T3 audio, TSNS woofers. Absolutely insane. There he is. We're gonna see what he can do today. Drove a long ways. 44 batteries. No, 52. All oh, 52 batteries. Yeah. Custom podium to control everything from. He's getting everything all set up so it's nice and ready for him. And look what he's doing. Look, everything's just breaking apart on this vehicle. The door seams, the side views, the window, everything. This thing is a beast. We've seen some really hellacious videos of this thing blowing out seals. No, I blow another one. 166 decibels plus that day. Insane. So we've got him calling out his number. He's 66.6 or 66.5 with these TSNS drivers. Here he goes. He's ready. Let's see what this thing's gonna do. That right there is what they call deadly base. You don't want to be in the inside of that. That is unsafe, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it's like that every time I'm watching him hit the button, I still like it. <laughs> Even his door pods are all nice and custom. Look at that, beautiful work. He's got his switches, he's got his, his regulator, his knob, and 50 some odd batteries. Holy goddamn. One of the top competitors up here in New England, always getting real loud. The old Bob Perillo van right here making New England history all over again. Fixing those seals, making them nice and tight. Every little bit counts when you're in the lanes. All right, nice and sealed up again. Let's see if we can match the score. Here he is, rounding the corner, getting ready to burp. I'm gonna pay attention right here to this windshield because it was going crazy. Let's, let's pay attention. And he does it, ladies and gentlemen, with the extra tenth. Mike Ledoux, 166.6, the loudest in New England, right there. Can you blow it out? It's gonna be a great video. Yeah, I don't want it though. Come on. It, it wasn't like that in the beginning. That's too much money. <laughs> yeah, I gotta go to finals with this. Uh, I would say that window was moving quite a bit on the bottom. Yeah, yeah, it's, that's the only reason it doesn't crack. Otherwise, it cracks at a 165.5. 165.5 and above it cracks, and I'd be cracking in every competition, so. It disconnects from here to where his hand is. That whole section will lift up. Oh, yeah. Thank wow. God it Stick does that. Stick your finger in it. This windshield every time if it's I know, this is the longest this windshield's been in this one. Seven years. I had this thing almost seven years. It's amazing. Long long this wow. first, when I first got the van, I snapped the windshield instantly, the one that was in it. And I bought this one and did it like this and never blown one since. I hit 169 decibels without without packing. 169 decibels. Holy shit. Here it is, the wall. Those big woofers, and he's missing three, and he's still doing same numbers. Three plugs, same numbers. Insane. This guy's a maniac, man. Whew. Still cold? Yeah, still cold. Man. This guy, he's my favorite competitor of all New England right here. Always full of smiles. Now that's what I'm talking about, YouTubulous. I love seeing big SPL driven systems like this still able to play some music for us. So definitely a big thumbs up for Mike Ledoux over there for letting us get some flex footage in this video. Because to tell you the truth, I felt so bad for the guy. Literally the next show after this video, he shattered his windshield to pieces, which has been in there for seven whole years. I was actually standing here watching it when it broke. His Did windshield it? didn't even move out. Big time bummer having to drive all the way home with a gimp like that. So definitely big shout out to Mike. And even yesterday, a whole bunch more stuff happened to the guy. He pulled right into the lanes. Everything looked great just as before. 
turned it up as loud as it would go, and next thing you know, an amplifier is down, a subwoofer surround is shredded, and the windshield is sayonara all over again. There's only one more for him to get out there right now for this type of glass, so best of luck to Mike Ledoux over there. You never know what to expect. Yeah, I checked, all the, I checked all the others, and they're fine. It was just that one that was messed up. Yeah, you could barely even see it. It doesn't, doesn't look ripped when it's sitting there. But let's face it, that's the name of the game when you're competing with huge-ass sound systems like this. You never know what to expect, whether it be you're going to break something or break a personal record. Another windshield, guys. This is getting expensive. We've got another casualty down the drain with Team Renos and another casualty back here with some burnt up amplifiers. Oh God, never a good time, especially when finals is on the menu. But to me personally, I'm surprised that that windshield has lasted as long as it did. I mean, holy crap, 166 plus decibels with the capability of 169 decibels. That's outrageous to think that some glass can withstand all that pressure. So I really hope everything gets worked out for him because this is the loudest sound system in New England. I think he's still gonna make it to finals, but it's gonna make the job a heck of a lot harder, that's for damn sure. Make sure you slap a good old thumbs up for Team Renauts up here, still bringing this T3 audio van out and about, kicking ass in the New England lanes, just like it should be. All right, guys, until the next video, this is XO, signing out. <laughs>